I feel like the world's biggest idiot and don't know what to do I need support. February 2022 I uncovered that my wife was having an affair with a former co-worker. This was just the tip of the iceberg that was about to sink my proverbial ship, read, life. I want to document my story for two purposes, one, to readily share when I choose to let family and friends in, when the feeling of shame won't let me form the words, and two, to get some targeted help for anyone unlucky enough to be in my situation. I have rarely opened up, even to those closest to me, so please allow me to be vulnerable. Some background, my wife and I have been a college couple since 2010 and got married in 2017. We have lived across five different states in that time, and to preserve plausible deniability, I will not mention them by name. Home is our current home as well as where we were raised. To make matters even more complicated, we have two young sons, both under four. At D-Day, we both had full-time corporate careers which were demanding and my wife's job required a lot of regional travel. Additionally, she began investing a significant amount of time in her side hustle, which also required her to be out of the house most weekends. This was proving to be a very challenging point in our life, and it put a huge strain on our relationship as we were not living in our home state at the time and had zero relatives slash close friends in the state. It was becoming unsustainable for me to manage my increasingly demanding career, increasing parental responsibilities, and sever lack of sleep due to a newborn missing his absent mother. For the record, I was not fully ready to have a second child, but she inevitably persuaded me to do it sooner because her body, her choice in age of pregnancy, it got to the point where we discussed two options to help our family thrive that ultimately did not align to my wife's desires, one, quit her full-time job and provide for our children full-time like she had wanted to do since college or two, relocate our family back to our home state so we can leverage our vast support network of family and friends. She was adamant on keeping her current role because it afforded her the ability to travel and have the time and space to focus on other things, and she never considered moving home after my many requests over the years so I was not surprised when she rejected the idea again. I could not understand where her priorities were, because it was clear that it wasn't anywhere near home. Ahead of some of her work trips leading up to February, we would find ourselves arguing over silly things. It seemed like she would look for fights over semantics or misplaced belongings, belittle me in front of our kids, and often ignoring me for long stretches of the day. We were both working remotely from our home, and there was a weird feeling every time she would leave the house for an upcoming trip. Almost an eagerness to escape, and a need to leave on the worst terms as possible. She would defy severe weather warnings to make it to these trips. Her wedding ring was forgotten at home many times, she missed our anniversary and dog's birthday for an important trip, with no call or text, and then I knew, it couldn't have been the work, there must be someone else. D-Day, on one of her earlier trips, she managed to lock herself out of her long since used smart watch and left it with me so I could reset the watch. This was night one of four that she was set to be away, in the first of two locations. She wanted it reset, but I figured that I could avoid the hassle and try everyone's birthday until I got it right. Late at night, after getting our boys to sleep, I managed to figure out the password and was able to successfully unlock the watch. And then the messages started coming in. Pictures. Instructions on how to get a room key. Plans to rendezvous for future trips. Talks of running out of time to even have lunch after. Grievances over the weather potentially cancelling their second stop on their romantical hotel room tour disguised as work trips. I panicked and called her out immediately. In hindsight I should have taken my time but I knew I would be unable to hide my emotions for too long. She ended her trip early to come home the following morning. Her first reaction was to deny, and then after presented with my overwhelming proof, she reluctantly confirmed. She said it was a co-worker that she had worked with years prior while we were living in separate states, and that they casually kept in touch over the years and started things after we moved to our new state. The three instances I uncovered was all of it, and that was all she was willing to divulge. I was crushed and couldn't reconcile some of the evidence that I had. Contact photos from a formal dinner that didn't fit into her alleged timeline. A lack of remorse from her after the discovery. I knew there had to be more. Over the next few days I would try to find more evidence on her phone and came away empty-handed, no surprise. I had so many questions unanswered and a WW that was unwilling to talk about it. But the one answer that I did know, 
was that I wanted our family to move back to our home state. Married, separated, divorced, whatever, I knew that the best thing for our boys was to be around family while navigating these next steps. To my surprise, she balked at my ultimatum, move back home for a chance at reconciling this, or stay here and certainly file for divorce. She was defiant, uncompromising, and completely unsupportive of the idea of moving home. I felt idiotic, offering an olive branch only to have it thrown back in my face. I didn't know how to get out of the situation I desperately wanted to avoid, and it felt like she was doubling down on staying near this new man. But then I got the confirmation that I needed to definitively answer when this all started. D-Day number 2, a week later, on the day before my oldest son's birthday, I got the type of news that no father wants to hear. Scientifically there was a 0% chance that he was my offspring. I still don't know how to say the words that describe what it means, because he is obviously my son. But our DNA doesn't match. She reluctantly confirmed that it was the same man, and now confesses that the relationship started a mere six months after our wedding. This shattered me and I hate to admit but it changed my relationships with both of my sons. I went from feeling that I had two sons on this planet to knowing that while he is my son, I only have one true heir. I love him and wouldn't change him in any way, but I resent how this played out and how she hid this from me, as I was never given a choice. This is my main focus in therapy I immediately stopped caring about the relationship implications of this new update. Obviously, it meant she lied, obviously it means there was more, and it is reasonably obvious to assume there is even more that hasn't been revealed. My immediate priority was to return back home as I knew that we would need our family support system. We thankfully agreed to make the move, but logistically it meant I was stuck in many ways. The move wouldn't happen for a few months, and even after making the move home, I would need to wait. Immediately following the discovery, we separated in the same home but inevitably, over the many weeks, things started getting back to normal. We did start to make time for these important conversations, and both started seeing therapists, but it never stuck once we finally moved home over summer. Moved home over summer. The plan was to move here, get through our individual busy summer seasons at work, and then focus on us. We did not share any of this with our family here, and for the most part are now living like it never happened. She is now instead focusing all of her time and energy in growing her side hustle. She is traveling for work again, longer trips now that she has to travel out of state, and staying out of the house longer so that she can book additional side jobs. She's gone on weekends, absent for our children's sports, anywhere but home. And what's worse, we don't need the extra money she is chasing. Where am I at now? I am sad, lonely, and totally paralyzed. I need no further evidence that she doesn't care about me. But I can't bring myself to do anything. Because I prioritized the move, I feel like I played too nice and allowed us to just move past this. The lost reality of the family that I once thought has been hard to cope with, but I just feel completely stuck. Why can't I do the obvious? Separate from her, I have been struggling with this new reality with my son. The very few folks I have discussed this with have all mentioned that it doesn't change anything which is a very noble mentality. However, it feels like it has changed, which adds guilt into the equation. Lost are the happy thoughts of he got that from me and now I am left to question how much nurture I can squeeze in to displace as much of the nature. There are days that I wish I hadn't sent off the DNA test, but quickly remind myself that I needed to know this, and it was abundantly clear that my wife would have never owned up to it. If you are aware of any support groups for this, please share. Lastly, I feel lucky to have found out. It was very lucky that I was able to confirm what I had suspected. It makes me wonder how many other close calls I should have pushed harder on. Now I just need an exit strategy. Earl's thought story 2 after. Op you need more than an exit strategy, you need a set of balls. Having a kid by your AP is a direct disrespect to your marriage. The lack of remorse indicates WW do not want to stay in the marriage and op need to man up and file papers. How can you rug sweep your wife having a kid with another man? Please tell me what you guys think, comment below. My wife is bisexual and slept with another woman. I need support. So, bear with me. I'm a male 24 and wife is 25 and I have been together since high school. 
We started dating at 16 and got married at 18. I've always known she was bisexual but never thought anything of it. I haven't always been the best husband, I wouldn't treat her how she deserved and could have been better. I hid the fact that I smoked from here repeatedly over many years and other things. I was always faithful and never would cheat as I had been cheated on in past relationships. She recently got a job and has been loving it. However, she came home one day and told me she has had thoughts of us separating and her moving back home with the kids. We discussed it at length and decided to stick it out. I tried a lot harder as a husband and she told me that she no longer feels that way and she's sorry for bringing it in. She did mention that she has a crush on her coworker, but I shouldn't worry. They hung out a few times and I always asked if I should be worried and she always said no. We bought new rings, I lost mine on a business trip when drunk, and she went out with her friends one night. It was supposed to be a single drink then coming home, but about three hours later she said she was going to sleep over because she's too drunk to drive. I said fine just don't be dumb, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. She came home the next morning and said she hasn't slept so she went to bed. She woke up 4 hours later and said she made out with her coworker. I was pissed but whatever. She went back to sleep for another couple hours and then we talked some more. She had full blown sex with her coworker because she never got to experience that side of herself. I want to move on but it's so fucking painful. We still love each other deeply but I don't know how to move on. This is a woman I saw myself living forever with but looking at her hurts. I'm starting therapy soon and so is she. We will also be going to couples counseling. She's expressed remorse and told me of what happened on her own so she does seem guilty. Anyone have any advice for recovering and dealing with the hurt? I want to move on but genuinely don't know how. The mood swings are awful and I want all this to be in the past. Tia. Earl's thoughts. Listen to this again she did mention that she has a crush on her co-worker but I shouldn't worry. They hung out a few times and I always asked if I should be worried and she always said no. Op when a wife or girlfriend tells you they have a crush on a co-worker you should worry. She is telling you I'm about to cheat on you, what would you guys do if your girlfriend or spouse tells you they have a crush on a co-worker comment below. I want to say thanks to all my subscribers, I have over 20,000 viewers but only 363 subscribers. Help me reach the 1000 subscriber mark if you have not subscribed please subscribe and like my videos. I will see you at the following story.